Hi everybody, it's Michael LaMonaco. So, burgers. Can we say burgers? I love burgers. We haven't done any burgers, and I thought we should do a good smash burger with my secret sauce. And my secret sauce is something I'm gonna share with you, but a good smash burger is really a lot of fun, and it's something that we like, and we can make it at home. We go out for them, but we can make it at home. So I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna start with a great, this is a great burger. This is, this is a, a great Pat Lafreda burger. This is 10 ounces, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut this into two pieces. I'm gonna make two smash burgers because really a smash burger is smaller, thinner. It's thinner and smaller than a great bar burger. A bar burger is usually a big burger like this, eight, nine, 10 ounces. But a smash burger is about four or five ounces. And the smash happens here on the board, not on the griddle, I'll show you. So let's just get this all flattened out. And as we're cooking it, I'll tell you about the, the cooking of a, of a great burger. Okay, those look about even. Yeah, I like a little bit more on this one. They're about even to me now. Now, a smash burger is just that. It's smashed, and I do not smash it on the griddle, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm getting this ready for the griddle, so we're gonna go with a little salt on both of them, a little pepper, and Let's go right to the griddle. You can do this in a cast iron pan if you don't have a griddle like this. Now I like doing it just like this. That's good to go. And in, in a moment we'll come back and we'll make our special sauce. Okay, our smash burgers are cooking. They're doing great. What I don't do is smash them on the griddle. Once they're on the griddle, I leave them alone. Because if you start smashing them on the griddle, you're pushing all the beautiful juices and the flavor and the umami out of the beef. You're pushing all the goodness out of it. Don't smash your burger on the griddle. Press your pants, not your burgers. That's been my motto for decades. So let those cook, because they are gonna be medium well to well done inside. That's just what we want. Let's make the special sauce. Special sauce, secret sauce. This is my version. Starts with some mayonnaise. Ketchup, some pickled relish, a little mustard, and I think this is the ingredient that kind of people don't know about, pickle juice. You got pickles at home? The juice that's in the jar, a little pickle juice, just a little bit. Not too much, you don't want to make it too watery, but pickle juice, that adds a lot to this. And let's just stir that up. And that is my secret sauce. If you want to add some chili to this, add some chili sauce to it, by all means, go right ahead. But secret sauce is always at hand. I always have, I always have mayonnaise and ketchup and pickle relish and pickle juice, pickles, in my refrigerator, so it's good. Hey, look at the burgers. They're looking great. These burgers... Nice and smashed. I didn't touch them once. I seasoned them with salt and pepper, and now they're ready to flip. Let's flip. Here we go. Nice. These griddles are very, very wonderful for cooking things like this. You've seen me cook a number of things on this griddle, and I'm telling you, it's one of my favorite cooking utensils. And as I said, if you don't have this, a cast iron pan works great. And if that doesn't work, you're going to use the stainless steel pan. Perfect. No problem. I just think a nonstick pan, you won't get the same results. You really want that. You really want that browning to happen there. While those are cooking, I'll get the buns. Okay. Those are cooking great. Our smash burgers are doing really well. I have some buns, which I'm just going to put a little light coating of butter on them. I'm going to toast them on the other side of the griddle. Let's just butter. If you don't want to use butter, you can use something else. But if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound with a smash burger, I say. So 
Let's do this. There we go. Now, smash burgers going. Buns go on the griddle. And the next thing you want on your smash burger, some cheese. Uh, you know, I like all kinds of cheese. Today I went with Swiss cheese. So here's the secret. Cheese goes on. What happens? Not much. So we use a cover, a pot cover, and that'll help melt the cheese. That'll enable the cheese to melt. My buns are nice and toasty. Just a lightly toasted bun. My burgers are cooking away. Take a look. Cheese is starting to melt. Putting a cover on it or, or a stainless steel bowl are the two things you that you can use to do this. And we're doing well here. Okay, we're ready to go. So now I've got my special sauce. The cheese is nice and melted. I put special sauce on the bottom. You do it wherever you want, but this is how I build the burger. Our burgers are there. Look at that. Those are smash burgers. Beautiful. Smash burgers. My favorite. Four or five ounce patty on a great toasted bun with some secret sauce, special sauce. The only other thing I would want to add, I like a little tomato. I like a little red onion. I didn't do any lettuce. Looking good. Toasted buns, beautiful. On top, the secret to the smash burger revealed. Enjoy.